Air Force Special Operations Command AFSOC, headquartered at Hurlburt Field, Florida, is the special operations component of the United States Air Force. An Air Force Major Command MAGECOM, AFSOC is also the U.S. Air Force Component Command to United States Special Operations Command USSOCOM, a unified combatant command located at MacDill Air Force Base, Florida. AFSOC provides all Air Force Special Operations Forces SOF for worldwide deployment and assignment to regional unified combatant commands. Before 1983, Air Force Special Operations Forces were primarily assigned to the Tactical Air Command and were generally deployed under the control of U.S. Air Forces in Europe or, as had been the case during the Vietnam War, Pacific Air Forces just as it had relinquished control of the C-130 Theater Airlift Fleet to Military Airlift Command in 1975, TAC relinquished control of Air Force SOF to MAC in December 1982. AFSOC was initially established on 10 February 1983 as 23rd Air Force 23 AF, a subordinate numbered Air Force of MAC, with 23 AF headquarters initially established at Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. On 1 August 1987, 23 AF headquarters moved to Hurlburt Field, Florida. Topic. Predecessor USAAF and USAF Special Operations Units Topic. World War II First Air Commando Group, late 1943 – November 1945 Operation Carpetbagger, early 1944 July 1945. Korean War Air Resupply and Communications Service, 23 February 1951 12 October 1956. Combined Command Reconnaissance Activities, Korea, December 1951 to December 1953. B Flight, 6167th Operations Squadron, the 1st of April 1952 to the 31st of December 1953. 6004th Air Intelligence Service Squadron, C. March 1951 to 1955 6006th Air Intelligence Service Squadron C 1953 to 1955 22nd Crash Rescue Boat Squadron C July 1952 to 1954 581st Air Supply and Communications Wing, July 1951 to September 1955. 582nd Air Supply and Communications Wing. 580th Air Supply and Communications Wing. Topic: Early Cold War Era. 129th Air Resupply Group, April 1955 c. 1975 130th Air Resupply Group, October 1955 c. 1960 135th Air Resupply Group, August 1955 c. 1971 143rd Special Operations Group, November 1955 to 1975. 
1045th Observation, Evaluation, and Training Group, the 23rd of February 1951 to the 1st of January 1954. Topic: Vietnam War Era. Jungle Jim, 4,400th Combat Crew Training Squadron. Farm Gate. Operation Water Pump. Raven Forward Air Controllers. Project 404. Palace Dog. 56th Air Commando Wing. Topic. Late Cold War Era 4400th Combat Crew Training Group 1st Special Operations Wing 23rd Air Force Topic. Lineage Established as 23rd Air Force on 10 February 1983 Activated on 1 March 1983 Redesignated Air Force Special Operations Command and made a major command on the 22nd of May 1990 Topic. Assignments Military Airlift Command, 1 March 1983 United States Air Force, 22 May 1990 Present Topic. Stations Scott AFB, Illinois, 1 March 1983 Hurlburt Field, Florida, the 1st of August 1987 present. Topic: Components. Air Forces Special Operations Center, redesignated 623D Air and Space Operations Center, the 13th of December 2005 to the 1st of January 2008. 23rd Air Force Air Forces Special Operations Forces the 1st of January 2008 to the 4th of April 2013 AFSOC Operations Center the 4th of April 2013 present 2D Air Division the 1st of March 1983 to the 1st of February 1987 Aerospace Rescue and Recovery Service, the 1st of March 1983 to the 1st of August 1989. Air Rescue Service, the 1st of August 1989 to 1993. First Special Operations Wing, the 1st of February 1987 present. 24th Special Operations Wing, the 12th of June 2012 present. 27th Special Operations Wing, the 1st of October 2007 present. 41st Rescue and Weather Reconnaissance Wing, the 1st of October 1983 to the 1st of August 1989. 352D Special Operations Wing, the 1st of October 1983 present. 353D Special Operations Group, the 6th of April 1989 present. 375th Aeromedical Airlift Wing, the 1st of January 1984 to the 1st of February 1990. 492D Special Operations Wing, the 10th of May 2017 present. 720th Special Tactics Group, the 1st of October 1987 to the 12th of June 2012. 724th Special Tactics Group, the 29th of April 2011 to the 12th of June 2012. 
1550th Aircrew Training and Test Wing, later, 1550th Combat Crew Training Wing, the 1st of October 1983 to the 21st of May 1990. USAF Special Operations School, the 1st of February 1987 to the 22nd of May 1990. Air Force Special Operations Training Center, the 8th of October 2008 to the 11th of February 2013. Air Force Special Operations Air Warfare Center, the 11th of February 2013 to the 10th of May 2017. Topic Units First Special Operations Wing, Hurlburt Field, Florida 4th Special Operations Squadron, AC 130U Spooky, 8th Special Operations Squadron, CV 22B Osprey, 11th Special Operations Intelligence Squadron 15th Special Operations Squadron, MC-130H Combat Talon II 23rd Special Operations Weather Squadron 34th Special Operations Squadron, U-28A 65th Special Operations Squadron, MQ-9 73d Special Operations Squadron, AC-130J Ghost Rider 319th Special Operations Squadron, U-28A 24th Special Operations Wing, Hurlburt Field, Florida 720th Special Tactics Group, Hurlburt Field, Florida 17th Special Tactics Squadron, Fort Benning, Georgia 21st Special Tactics Squadron, Pope Field, North Carolina 22d Special Tactics Squadron, Joint Base Lewis McCord, Washington. 23d Special Tactics Squadron. 26th Special Tactics Squadron, Cannon AFB, New Mexico. 724th Special Tactics Group, Pope Field, North Carolina. 24th Special Tactics Squadron, 27th Special Operations Wing, Cannon AFB. New Mexico 3D Special Operations Squadron, MQ-9 Reaper 9th Special Operations Squadron, MC-130J Commando II 12th Special Operations Squadron, MQ-9 Reaper, Launch and Control 16th Special Operations Squadron, AC-130W Stinger II 20th Special Operations Squadron, CV-22B Osprey 33D Special Operations Squadron, MQ-9 Reaper 318th Special Operations Squadron, U-28A 352D Special Operations Wing, RAF Mildenhall, United Kingdom AFSOC Support to USE UCOM, SOCEUR and USAFI 7th Special Operations Squadron, CV-22B Osprey 67th Special Operations Squadron, MC-130J Commando II 321st Special Tactics Squadron 353D Special Operations Group, Kadena Air Base, Japan AFSOC Support to USINDOPACOM, SOCPAC and PACAF 1st Special Operations Squadron MC-130H Combat Talon II 17th Special Operations Squadron MC-130P Combat Shadow 320th Special Tactics Squadron 492D Special Operations Wing, Hurlburt Field, Florida 6th Special Operations Squadron, UH-1N Iroquois, MI-8, C-130E Hercules, and 26, C-47T. 18th Flight Test Squadron. 
DET-1, 18th Flight Test Squadron is a GSU at Edwards AFB, California. 19th Special Operations Squadron, AC-130U, MC-130H. 371st Special Operations Combat Training Squadron. 551st Special Operations Squadron, AC-130H, AC-130W, MC-130J. 551 SOS as a GSU at Cannon AFB, New Mexico. United States Air Force Special Operations School, Hurlburt Field, Florida. Topic: Air National Guard ANG units. 193D Special Operations Wing, Pennsylvania Air National Guard, Harrisburg Air National Guard Base, Pennsylvania 193D Special Operations Squadron, EC-130J Commando Solo 3 150th Special Operations Squadron, New Jersey Air National Guard, McGuire AFB, New Jersey, C 32 BAFSOC gained ANG units aligned under AMC gained or ACC gained ANG wings. 123d Special Tactics Squadron, Kentucky Air National Guard, Louisville ANGB, Kentucky. 125th Special Tactics Squadron, Oregon Air National Guard, Portland ANGB, Oregon. 137th Special Operations Security Forces Squadron, Oklahoma Air National Guard, Will Rogers ANGB, Oklahoma. 209th Special Operations Civil Engineer Squadron, Mississippi Air National Guard, Gulfport Combat Readiness Training Center, Mississippi. 280th Special Operations Communications Squadron, Alabama Air National Guard, Dothan Regional Airport ANGS, Alabama. 107th Weather Flight, Michigan Air National Guard, Selfridge ANGB, Michigan, inactivated the 30th of September 2017. 146th Weather Flight, Pennsylvania Air National Guard, Pittsburgh IAP Air Reserve Station, Pennsylvania. 181st Weather Flight, Texas Air National Guard, NAS Fort Worth JRB, Carswell Field, Texas inactivated 30 September 2017. Air Force Reserve Command units 919th Special Operations Wing, Eglin AFB Auxiliary Field No. 3, Duke Field, Florida 2D Special Operations Squadron, GSU at Hurlburt Field, Florida, MQ-9 Reaper. 5th Special Operations Squadron, U-28. 711th Special Operations Squadron, C-145A Skytruck. Topic. Personnel and resources AFSOC has about 15,000 active duty, Air Force Reserve, Air National Guard and civilian personnel. The commander of AFSOC is Lieutenant General Marshall Brad Webb. Major General Eugene Haas is Vice Commander, and Chief Master Sergeant Matthew Caruso is the Command Chief Master Sergeant, Air Force Special Operations Command. The command's SOF units are composed of highly trained, rapidly deployable airmen who are equipped with specialized aircraft. These forces conduct global special operations missions ranging from precision application of firepower, to infiltration, aviation foreign internal defense, exfiltration, resupply and aerial refueling of SOF operational elements. 
In addition to the pilots, combat systems officers, and enlisted aircrew who fly AFSOC's aircraft, there is a highly experienced support force of maintenance officers and enlisted aircraft maintenance personnel who maintain these complex aircraft and their support systems, a cadre of premier intelligence officers and enlisted intelligence specialists well versed in special operations, as well as logisticians, security forces and numerous other support officers and personnel. Another aspect of AFSOC is Special Tactics, the U.S. Air Force's Special Operations Ground Force. Similar in ability and employment to Marine Special Operations Command MARSIC, U.S. Army Special Forces and U.S. Navy SEALs, Air Force Special Tactics personnel are typically the first to enter combat and often find themselves deep behind enemy lines in demanding, austere conditions, usually with little or no support. The command special tactics squadrons are led by special tactics officers STOs. Special tactics squadrons combine combat controllers, tactical air control party TACP, special operations weather technicians, pararescue men PJs, and combat rescue officers CROSS to form versatile SOF teams. AFSOC's unique capabilities include airborne radio and television broadcast for psychological operations, as well as combat aviation advisors to provide other governments' military expertise for their internal development. Due to the rigors of the career field, special tactics year-long training is one of the most demanding in the military, with attrition rates between 80 and 90 percent. In an attempt to reduce the high attrition, special tactics is very selective when choosing their officers. Special Tactics Officers STO undergo a highly competitive process to gain entry into the Special Tactics career field, ensuring only the most promising and capable leaders are selected. STO leadership and role modeling during the difficult training reduces the attrition rate for enlisted trainees. STO selection is a two-phase process. Beginning with Phase 1, a board of veteran STOs reviews application packages consisting of letters of recommendation, fitness test scores, and narratives written by the applicants describing their career aspirations and reasons for applying. Based on Phase 1 performance, about 8 to 10 applicants are invited to the next phase. Phase 2 is a week-long battery of evaluations, ranging from physical fitness and leadership to emotional intelligence and personality indicators. At the end of Phase 2, typically two to four applicants are selected to begin the year plus special tactics training pipeline. Topic. Aircraft. Topic. Current AFSOC regularly operates the following aircraft AC-130H Spectre, AC-130U Spooky II, AC-130W Stinger II CV-22B Osprey C-32 Boeing 757 EC-130J Commando Solo III MC-130H Combat Talon II, MC-130J Commando II, MC-130P Combat Shadow C-145A Skytruck C-146A Wolfhound U-28A MQ-1 Predator MQ-9 Reaper RQ-11 Raven Scan Eagle 
WASP EE Additionally, AFSOC, through its Air Force Special Operations Air Warfare Center, possess and operates a small number of the following aircraft for its Special Training Mission and Aviation Foreign Internal Defense FID missions. C-130E Hercules and 26 Curl C-47T Sky Train C-212 Aviocar CN-235-100 MI-17 HIP UH-1H and UH-1N Huey Topic. Future New AC-130J and MC-130J aircraft based on the Lockheed Martin KC-130J Super Hercules tanker variant are being acquired and sent to certain AFSOC units. MC-130J aircraft have already entered service while the AC-130J continues developmental testing in preparation for an initial operational capability IOC, with AFSOC projected for FY 2017. History Topic: 23rd Air Force, 23 AF. In December 1982, the Air Force transferred responsibility for Air Force Special Operations from Tactical Air Command (TAC) to Military Airlift Command (MAC). Consequently, in March 1983, MAC activated 23rd Air Force 23 AF at Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. This new numbered Air Force's responsibilities included worldwide missions of special operations, combat rescue, weather reconnaissance and aerial sampling, security support for intercontinental ballistic missile sites, training of USAF helicopter and HC-130 crewmen, pararescue training, and medical evacuation. Topic. Operation Urgent Fury In October 1983, 23AF helped rescue Americans from the island nation of Grenada. During the seven-day operation, centered at Point Salines Airport, 23AF furnished MC-130s, AC-130s, aircrews, maintenance, and support personnel an EC-130 from the 193rd Special Operations Wing of the Air National Guard also played a Psi War role. Lieutenant Colonel later Major General James L. Hobson, Jr., an MC-130 pilot and commander of the 8th Special Operations Squadron, was later awarded the McKay Trophy for his actions in leading the airdrop on the Point Salines Airport. U.S. <laughs> Special Operations Command In May 1986, the Goldwater-Nichols Department of Defense Reorganization Act led to the formation of the United States Special Operations Command. Senators William Cohen and Sam Nunn introduced the Senate bill, and the following month Congressman Dan Daniel introduced a like measure in the House of Representatives. The key provisions of the legislation formed the basis to amend the 1986 Defense Authorizations Bill. This bill, signed into law in October 1986, in part directed the formation of a unified command responsible for special operations. 
In April 1987, the DoD established the United States Special Operations Command at MacDill Air Force Base, Florida, and Army Gen. James J. Lindsay assumed command. Four months later, 23AF moved its headquarters from Scott AFB to Hurlburt Field, Florida. In August 1989, Gen. Dwayne H. Cassidy, USAF, CINCMAC, divested 23AF of its non-special operations units, e.g., search and rescue, weather reconnaissance, etc. Thus, 23AF served a dual role, still reporting to MAC, but also functioning as the air component to USSOCOM. Topic. Operation Just Cause From late December 1989 to early January 1990, 23AF participated in the invasion of the Republic of Panama during Operation Just Cause. Special operations aircraft included both active duty AC-130H and Air Force Reserve AC-130A Spectre gunships, EC-130 Volant Solo Psychological Operations aircraft from the Air National Guard, HC-130P, in combat shadow tankers, MC-130E Combat Talons, and MH-53J Pave Low and MH. 60G Pave Hawk helicopters. Special tactics combat controllers and pararescue men provided important support to combat units. Spectre gunship crews of the 1 SAO earned the McKay Trophy and Tunner Award for their efforts, with an Air Force Reserve AC 130A Spectre crew from the 919th Special Operations Group 919 SOG earning the President's Award. An active duty 1st SAO MC-130 combat Talon crew ferried the captured Panamanian president, Manuel Noriega, to prison in the United States. Likewise, the efforts of the One Sao Maintenance People earned them the Daydalian Award. On the 22nd of May 1990, General Larry D. Welch, USAF, the Chief of Staff of the Air Force, redesignated 23rd Air Force as Air Force Special Operations Command (AFSOC). This new major command consisted of three wings, the 1st, 39th and 353rd Special Operations Wings as well as the 1720th Special Tactics Group 1720 STG, the U.S. Air Force Special Operations School, and the Special Missions Operational Test and Evaluation Center. Currently, after major redesignations and reorganizations, AFSOC direct reporting units include the 16th Special Operations Wing, the 352nd Special Operations Group, the 353rd Special Operations Group, the 720th Special Tactics Group 720 STG, the USAF Special Operations School and the 18th Flight Test Squadron 18 FLTS. During the early 1990s a major reorganization occurred within AFSOC. The 1720 STG became the 720 STG in March 1992. The transfer of ownership of Hurlburt Field from Air Mobility Command AMC, and formerly MAC to AFSOC in October 1992, followed by the merger of the 834th Air Base Wing 834 ABW into the 1 SAO, which assumed host unit responsibilities. A year later the 1 SAO became the 16 SAO in a move to preserve Air Force heritage. Meanwhile, the Special Missions Operational Test and Evaluation Center SMOTEC, which explored heavy lift frontiers in special operations capabilities, while pursuing better equipment and tactics development, was also reorganized. 
In April 1994, the Air Force, in an effort to standardize these types of organizations, redesignated SMOTEC as the 18th Flight Test Squadron 18 FLTS. Topic. Gulf War From early August 1990 to late February 1991, AFSOC participated in Operation Desert Shield and Operation Desert Storm, the protection of Saudi Arabia and liberation of Kuwait. Special tactics personnel operated throughout the theater on multiple combat control and combat rescue missions. Special operations forces performed direct action missions, combat search and rescue, infiltration, exfiltration, air base ground defense, air interdiction, special reconnaissance, close air support, psychological operations, and helicopter air refuelings. PAVE low crews led the helicopter assault on radars to blind Iraq at the onset of hostilities, and they also accomplished the deepest rescue for which they received the McKay Trophy. MC 130E H combat talons dropped the Blue 82, the largest conventional bombs of the war, and, along with MC 130P combat shadows, dropped the most psychological warfare leaflets, while AC AC-130A and AC-130H Spectre gunships provided valuable fire support and armed reconnaissance. However, the AC-130 community also suffered the single greatest combat loss of coalition air forces with the shoot-down of an AC-130H, call sign Spirit 03, by an Iraqi SA-7 Grail surface-to-air missile. All 14 crew members aboard Spirit 03 were killed. Topic: <laughs> AFSOC. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Post Gulf War. In December 1992, AFSOC Special Tactics and Intelligence Personnel supported Operation Restore Hope in Somalia. In late 1994, AFSOC units spearheaded Operation Uphold Democracy in Haiti, and in 1995 Operation Deliberate Force in the Balkans. Topic. Operation Enduring Freedom The terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center in New York City, and the Pentagon, Washington, D.C., on of September 2001 pushed the United States Special Operations Forces to the forefront of the war against terrorism. By the end of September 2001, AFSOC deployed forces to Southwest Asia for Operation Enduring Freedom, Afghanistan to help destroy the Al-Qaeda terrorist organization and remove the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. AFSOC Airpower delivered special tactics forces to the battle ground and they in turn focused U.S. airpower and allowed Afghanistan's Northern Alliance ground forces to dispatch the Taliban and Al-Qaeda from Afghanistan. AFSOC personnel also deployed to the Philippines to help aid that country's efforts against terrorism. U.S. Air Force Special Operations had a long term presence in the Philippines during Operation Enduring Freedom, Philippines. <laughs> Operation Iraqi Freedom In March 2003, AFSOC again deployed forces to Southwest Asia this time in support of what would become Operation Iraqi Freedom, the removal of Saddam Hussein and his Ba'athist government. 
the command's personnel and aircraft teamed with SOF and conventional forces to quickly bring down Saddam Hussein's government by May 2003. AFSOC forces continued to conduct operations in support of the new Iraqi government against insurgents and terrorists. Topic: <laughs> Commanders. AFSOC has had 11 commanders since its inception in 1990. Topic: Contingency operations. Topic: Gallery. Topic: See also. V-22 Osprey. Air Resupply and Communications Service <laughs>